What's up, you guys? This is iPod Touches on Fire here, and I'm making a Windows 7 review, which I did a clean install on a couple of days ago, and I just wanted to have a couple of days of playing around with it so I can tell you guys the pros and cons of Windows 7 so, so you can consider installing it or not. So first things first, the big change was actually the taskbar, which they renamed to be called the super bar. And you can pin programs on here, like LimeWire, and it'll ask you to pin the taskbar and let go, and it'll pin to it. You can also move this program around, and the other programs will make space for it. You can unpin it by just clicking on it, and then act like you're pulling it off, and it'll ask you to unpin it from the taskbar. Now, the next new thing in Windows 7 is that you can actually change your user access control settings. So, if you sc scroll down one, it'll notify you when programs try to make changes to your computer and it won't dim your desktop. And that's for people who are av like people who know what they're doing, and then power users who know completely what they're doing and stuff. It will never notify you, but I keep it on default because I'm a regular user and I, sometimes I do need to be notified. Now, another new thing with Windows 7 is actually the Action Center, which is new. They did not have this in the Windows Vista, uh, any service pack. They didn't have it in Windows Vista Ultimate or none of that. The, when, uh, the Action Center for Windows 7 is actually brand new and it tells you all the uh, messages and problems that's going like it tells you like a quick message of what's going on with uh, um, the security and the maintenance which is telling me there's a problem with WinRAR but I'll fix that later and it just jumbles up everything together as one instead of having a whole bunch of icons at the bottom showing up that there's a problem with this program or there's a problem with that program it will just show up as one program the action center that told you about your security and the maintenance of the computer now another new thing with windows 7 would actually be the windows media center that which enables you to watch uh... live tv straight off your computer but this does require extra um... like the tv tuner and stuff like that so it does require extra accessories for your computer to actually watch live tv so if i was to watch internet tv i would actually have to have the tv set up for i to be enabled to watch the the show like if i would wanted to watch law and order svu or family guy stuff like that you do need a tv tuner it does show up and everything but if you do want to like actually watch a show say uh i want to watch this right now i do need the uh, the TV tuner to watch the one that is on live right now so it does show me four episodes but to watch the live show I do need a TV tuner now that's Windows Media Center and I believe you can only watch live TV on Windows 7 I'm not too sure you guys can correct me in the comments um, another new thing with Windows 7 is that you can actually actually you have uh, the arrow peak which is if you have a window open say I'm in Windows uh, Internet Explorer 9 right this is the beta by the way I just hover over the right hand corner at the bottom and it will show my desktop and if I leave it it will show the window I'm in and if you do click it it will go to your desktop and if you click it again it will show up the window that you last had open now, another new thing will be the gadgets. You can actually add gadgets to your screen. You can actually move them around and stuff without trouble. And you see how I move my gadgets around without any trouble. But if I do want, like, if I wanted to move around a desktop, it wouldn't be a problem. But with Windows Vista, the problem with that was that Windows Vista, it didn't really wasn't able to move the gadgets around where you want them to be so if you want this to be in in a specific area it can actually be there so if I want it to be like right under that folder it'll stay there you know with Windows Vista it wasn't that specific you had a limit to where you could put the gadget now one last feature I believe that there is with Windows 7 is actually the magnifier 
can actually magnify your screen. So let's uh, open up this Windows Internet Explorer 9 and let's go to Best Buy. Dot com and then you use magnifier to actually zoom in on a web page or your home screen you can actually zoom in here you see but you have to move your mouse around to actually navigate you can actually you can scroll up and down too but that's the magnifier you can zoom in onto web pages, your desktop, if you can't see something correctly. But I just recommend just change the icon size if you do know how to do that. If not, just click, right click your screen, view, and then change the icon size. Uh, one Another thing with Windows 7 is you can actually personalize right off your desktop. You can do this with Windows Vista, but it's a lot quicker here. So you just right click your screen, and then you got a whole bunch of themes that you could change it to. I currently have it on the default Windows 7 theme, which I do like. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying that one. But if you guys want to change it, they also have landscapes. And it does come with a different sound every time you change it. So let's change it to the United States and let's hear this one. You hear the guitar and everything. And landscapes and architecture. And it does, and it does change the sounds and stuff. A couple of sounds, not all sounds, but it does change a couple of sounds with the theme. That's about it, you guys. Thanks, you. Uh, thanks for watching. I do recommend updating to Windows 7 if you are on Windows XP, because that is about eight or nine years old. Windows Vista, you should update, because Windows Vista was a really bad OS for your computer, and it did ruin a lot of people's computers that I've heard. And if you do want to upgrade, you can get it in at Best Buy for, I believe, $119. Basically, $120. That's for the upgrade. And if you want to upgrade from um, XP to 7, that is going to be a $200 because you cannot upgrade. You have to do a clean install. So it will be $200 for that. Thanks you guys for watching and uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.